All right, you can do this. This is Travis Snyder with an interesting deck that you yeah, would be surprised in our 20-man uh, tournament. And locals got top eight. And what we play today, Travis? Dual Avatar Shadal. Dual Avatar Shadal. So explain this deck and what, what do you do to win with this? Basi basically, I hope I open Shadal Monsters with the Dual Avatar Fusion spell. They get their, tra their effects all trigger whenever they're discarded. Uh... I get the five, the two to the two monsters plus the Shadal effect, to whether it's another Shadal monster or sending a spell or trap to get to the grave. All right, man, that is, that is awesome. I really want to see, like, what do you use in this deck? Like, let's break it down, bro. Uh -huh. First off, there was three dual avatar feet, Kyoku, uh, two dual avatar fist, Yoshi. I would play three, but I only have the two at the moment. We play three, three shit all windy, one of uh, two Squamata, one of each of Dragon, Beast, Falco, Hedgehog, and Ariel. Ariel was a clutch today against the Eldred matchup. Uh, for some of the hand traps, I play two Ash, two Ogre, two Valor. So how did Ogre help for you in the matchups? Uh, it was more of a discard outlet for shit all fusion for constructs instead of trying to send some instead of sending like my Baylor or something like that okay so, then we play three perfect sync three of the dual avatar invitation now that's the fusion card right yes okay so a lot of people tell me this is the broken card right here explain how this works for a little bit you discard a card you discard a card and special up to as many tokens as possible on your field and then you can apply the effect to fusion up to twice so basically it's a one card two fusion monster no matter what uh then we play two dual defeating evil this card against my striker matchup uh i kept popping his uh links and then banishing his rays out of grave so he couldn't get the ray effect uh, and then we play one Rotor, one Terraforming, two Pot of Average. Uh, I resolved this card three times today, and each time I resolved it, I drew back into a hand trap that, I, that was helpful. And of course, with Shadal, why wouldn't you play three Shadal Fusion? <laughs> uh, I played two L Fusion and then a Foolish Burial. Traps, I played one Compact. One return, one reincarnation for Shadal, and then one schism. <laughs> so is this a like 41, 42? About 41, 42. Okay. Would you change anything with the main? Uh, I mean, there, there was a couple matches I feel like I could have utilized more Shadal, a couple more Shadal, stuff like that. So for the extra deck, we went with the only non fusion of the extra deck, Cross Sheep. <laughs> uh, resolving this card off the of schism on my opponent's turn just give me give me extra advantage by bringing something out of the grave or one of my dual avatars. Uh, two Winda, two Al Capone, two Construct. I'll probably swap one of the Al Capones for a third Construct because the third one come up quite a bit today. Uh, then we play two dual avatar feet, armored Yoko. Three dual avatar fists, armored Yako. And then one of the best monsters of the day was the dual avatar empowered. And this is the newest one that came out of uh, Blazing Vortex. Yes. I resolved the pop effect four times today. Didn't get to bounce any spells and traps because everybody kept them in their hand for the one matchup I wanted to. I didn't get to see it. And then I played one dual avatar empowered Conco. So I know you're talking about the Al Capone, you put a third construct. Anything in the extra deck that you would change besides that? That's it. Like, everything else worked the way I wanted it to. Uh, do you remember all your matchups before you went to top eight? Uh, I played against Dragon Link round one. That was a two, that was a two one win. The uh, noob game three at the right time inside deck is what got it. Uh, Sky Striker, Zodia. Didn't get to resolve a ray and grave because of <laughs> defeating evil. Uh, 
then I lost to Grand Maju. Uh, game three had con or had returned face down, didn't flip it before I thought about it was flipped up. Uh, drew with Drytron. Uh, we both misplayed one. We both misplayed at some point, and it called it. Game three went into the draw. Uh, the last round was uh, Zoo Eldridge. Uh, game one he breaks a little bit or misplayed, and then game two was game two was over right, and then game three was just a grind to work. I ran out of resources before he did. And then when you got the top eight, which actually you got eighth, uh, who did you lose to in top eight? Uh, Steven playing right. Virtual World. <laughs> Hadn't seen it all day. Uh, that went to game three. It was, that one was a really good, that was a grind game too. All right, but that is awesome. I mean, this is so unique. I know, uh, once again, everybody, if you ain't like a fellow material guys, you got to subscribe, hit that button down below because you know what we do. Uh, do you want to give me shout-outs, bud? I'll give out a shout-out to Paul. He gave me the two fusions I needed. Uh, and I'll shout-out for everybody that showed up to play today. You know, Sammy and Steve, you know, they drove an hour and a half to get here to play with us today. So, Awesome. I appreciate everybody, man. Like, man, hope to see you next time.